Okay, it's pretty cloudy outside. Let me see. Um, uh, clear outside. Let me see what the weather here is going to look like, especially the. Cloud cover. It doesn't look too promising outside right now. So here we are, Friday the 25th. Moon is going to be 21%. And basically, 7 o'clock will be at about 100%. And then within the hour, it drops down to 25. And then by 9, it's going to be at 2%. Uh, visibility is 10 miles. Jellyfish. Okay. So seventy nine degrees at about eight. It's gonna set at about two. Okay, I am in my um, micro PC, which I call Astro PC. So I'm going to turn on my mount here and connect to it. There we go. And then I'm going to turn on PPEC. And for some reason, this just doesn't stay set to where I put it. And I find that I have to come out here and set it. Some of the documentation you'll find say to basically put your R and you decorate up at 90, but I find that 60 works best, at least for my application. And now I can open up Nina. There we go. And let me go ahead and connect everything, connect all my devices. Let's see, camera, filter wheel, telescope, focuser, rotator. Uh, hmm. Okay, PhD update. Install. And return. Yeah, to reconnect it when it gets done here. Cool. And then go back to Guider. Connect. stars that's good okay so everything is connected go into the sequencer and sequencer and I'm going to yeah, open up a sequence and I'm going to open up jellyfish and I'm going to go ahead and start running my sequence kind of un Park the scope. Park the scope. There we go. Scope is unparked. Go back into my imaging tab. And I'm ready to go. So right now I'm waiting for the camera to cool. Basically what the sequence is going to be. I'm going to shoot this. Uh, starting at nautical dusk, which we're at going to go until about 208 uh, which is good and I'm going to be shooting 5 hydrogen 10 oxygen and 5 sulfur I'm going to reset this because I find that it just picks up where it left off from the night before so I'm just resetting that and then after it gets done and once it reaches its time will stop guiding and we'll park the scope and then when I get up in the morning I can go ahead and I can do my flats on my dark flats. So let me go 
back into my imaging. And once the camera's cold, it will sluice and rotate, and I'll start guiding and run out of focus. See up here, we're at about a degree Celsius. We're gonna get down to about 10 below. Once it's down 10 below, it will slew and we'll start plate solving so we can get to the target, which in this case is the Jellyfish Nebula. Okay, so now we're slewing, center, and rotating. You can see the command over here being executed. And if I did 3D view here, you would see the 3D view of the scope as it's slowing. There we are. And it's plate solving. And we're exposing again. We're one degree, 30 seconds off. So we're getting close. And we're five minutes and seven seconds off. So I'm not quite there yet. Now we're two seconds off, so we're pretty good. So that's good. And now we're guiding, or starting up guiding. And so it's got a force calibration. My half-flex diameter isn't that great tonight. Uh, the past couple nights it's been actually pretty good. It's been down in the threes, but tonight it's a little higher. Probably because of the moisture in the air. Uh, I notice that nights where the humidity is a little higher um, generally tends to be a higher um, half flux diameter number and with some clouds still kind of in the sky there might be a little bit of um, um, clouds interfering with the stars like I said it's the moisture in the atmosphere so we'll wait for that to finish calibrating and then we'll move into the autofocus part so here's my image right now so we're just waiting for guiding guiding always starts off a little bit rough until it settles down and so I've got it so that I start guiding and then I run my autofocus routine and then start Robocopy and then I actually start my exposures you see I'm doing five uh, hydrogen alpha at 300 seconds, which is 5 minute exposures, and then 10 oxygens at 300, and 5 sulfurs at 300 seconds. And then I dither and start the whole process over again. So here we are, guiding is. It's always a little rough starting out. So uh, the autofocus routine here should start shortly. It's waiting for guiding to more or less settle down. As you can see it, it's starting to settle down. If I clear that, I expect guiding to be a little bit rough tonight because of the humidity. So I don't expect perfect guiding. I expect to be in the sixes and 0 0.6, 0 0.7 right now and 0.7, which is about what I expect to be with the, with the um, humidity being about 31%. But it should settle that one now down to 0.67. So that's good. Yeah, we're gonna be a little rough tonight. I'll still get um, subs that are within tolerance. Um, basically anything under one, one arc minute. Um, anything under 0.99, I basically um, accept. I can go up to like 1.2, they become unacceptable subs. But right now I'm at 0 0.69, 0 0.68, so and I suspect that as the as the clouds dissipate that the guiding will actually get better. So right now I'm going through autofocus sequence and once that's done uh, I'll start exposing the first hydrogen and then um, after the first hydrogen um, call it a night and just let everything run and we'll see what we get in the morning. I want you to see at least the first hydrogen coming in. Now let's expect the guiding to get a little bit better once the autofocus routine is done because there's no movement going on anymore in terms of uh, the camera and everything moving in and out for the focusing routine. So we're already down to 0.62. So, and we're starting our first hydrogen exposure. 
Okay, so we're almost ready. You can see the guiding has really settled down pretty lot. I'm at uh, 0.48, which is really, really good. And here is my first HA sub. And you can see some nebulosity over here, which is why I've got this particular orientation, because I've got this coming out, and then I've got all this over here, as well as the jellyfish right there. So if I go in, uh, come on down. I've got really good tight stars, which is nice. So there we are. There's our first glimpse, if you will, of the jellyfish. You can see it right there. And then the nebulosity over here. You've got this beautiful string of nebulosity. Come on. Right there, coming out of the jellyfish. So basically, it's. And I really kind of liked this over here because this balances this out. So this has a lot of detail. This is more general neb nebulosity. So. But anyways, my guiding is, you know, between 0.4 and 0.5 right now. Right now I'm at 0.51. Uh, this was ended up at 0.48. So my guiding is pretty good. So now I just let it run. In the morning when I get up, I'll do flats and dark flats. And then I'll start processing the results of hopefully three nights of data. So hopefully I'll have something to show you at the end of all this.